future needs nuclear power. We need nuclear power and we need it to be deployable in many, many regions around the world. Hi, welcome to Global Energy Shows 5x5 series. I'm Rachel Gregory. Today we're chatting nuclear energy with Catherine Mashonis Cole, president of X Energy Canada. With over 35 years experience, Catherine is a respected leader in the industry. Thank you so much for joining us. Catherine, what can you tell us about X Energy Canada? What is it that you do and what are your plans and activities in Canada? So X Energy as a company develops high temperature gas reactors and the triso fuel that powers them. And our purpose is to enable the deployment of this technology in Canada to create an ecosystem within Canada to actually deliver these, these reactors. The nuclear industry in Canada has been quite exercised through all the refurbishment work that we've done. We're now working with Connectrix, who's building a very large and, and very complex testing facility in order to test components that are in high temperature reactors and in order to test the back end of reactors who want to use steam for processes other than electricity. This is amazing because this doesn't exist anywhere else as an example, right? So we're building these pieces within the Canadian ecosystem in order to deliver the reactors. Catherine, you came out of retirement to lead X Energy Canada. Why did you decide to do this? I had retired after 33 years of working in the nuclear industry, and I noticed my teenagers becoming more and more concerned about the environment, about climate change, and I just felt I should be doing something. Here I am with all this capability, all this knowledge. Just as I started thinking about this, X Energy called me up. It was almost, it was kismet. And having come from Candu, and Candu is a fantastic technology. I, I, I cut my teeth on Candu, and I, I, I would live right next to the Pickering nuclear plant, no problem. I, I worked on commissioning Darlington and the health physics of Pickering in the past. But having come from from that technology and seeing this high temperature gas reactor technology, it was a completely different way of looking at nuclear power. At first, it looked seemed so futuristic. I thought, man, these guys have some really wild dreams. But then when I started looking at it, I got so excited by the possibility that it just really dove into it. And uh, and I haven't looked back since. I think it's just the most incredible thing. It's, it's really the way of the future. What can you tell us about XE100? So XE100 is the technology. It's a grid scale reactor, 200 megawatts thermal, 80 megawatts electric. It's optimized for a four pack, which is 320 megawatts, which is now that sweet spot for replacing some of our older fossil units. The single unit, on the other hand, at 200 megawatts thermal and 80 megawatts electric is a good size for industrial processes, sometimes maybe doubling them up. In Alberta, we would see you know, the petrochemical industry being interested in them, steel making in, in other parts of Canada, mining. So it's simplified, it's modular, the load follows for, so you can pair it with renewables, it has high temperature steam, so it can be used for industrial processes, for hydrogen production, which was another big deal for, for our founders. In 2020, the federal government released the SMR Action Plan. How does X Energy fit within this plan and what does it mean for future investment in the sector? X Energy has a chapter in the plan. We are very engaged with the SMR Action Plan. We have identified key actions and commitments that we are working on. We are engaged with the regulator and are in the, in the process of a vendor design review with the CNSC. We have engaged with the Nuclear Waste Management Organization and are in active discussions on how our particular fuel can be accommodated by the NWMO. We are actively building partnerships and establishing the value chain for Canadian businesses, for Canadian industries, for our supply chain here in Canada. We have supply chain identified for most of the part components of our reactors. So if we were to build in Canada, we would be building it here in Canada. Where do SMRs and nuclear energy fit within the global energy transition? What do you think the future looks like? Future needs nuclear power. I, I, I truly believe this. We need nuclear power and we need it to be deployable in many, many regions around the world. We also need technologies that can pair with intermittent renewables. And we need technology that can be a, what I call uh, the backbone of an intelligent energy system. Everybody talks about integrated energy systems, but I like to talk about intelligent energy systems because that's what they really are. It's about, we are wasting energy on a regular basis. I think we need to be more intelligent about that. I think we need to be able to, to take 
something like a, an SMR that is flexible, that is cost competitive, and that you can use in the best way possible. In the case of the oil sands, for instance, we can use it to, to support the production of fossil fuels, but now you're reducing the carbon emissions from the actual production, and that supports a cleaner overall system. That's all we have time for today, but thank you so much, Catherine. It was really a pleasure chatting with you. Well, thank you, Rachel. It was really, it's, it's really been a pleasure.